Today I'd like to take a casual peek into my Goody Haul report for the last week of September of 2012. Today is Monday, September 24th, and this uh, Goody Haul report is a bit of a catch-up uh, because uh, I've been very behind on my uh, Goody Haul reports, uh, sharing with everyone uh, what I've been able to get at retail uh, for a while now, uh, mainly because of uh, our new house, uh, just taking up a lot of our time and just not been able to shoot uh, any video. I've been away from YouTube and uh, Facebook for a while actually and uh, I've been trying to slowly get back into it uh, as uh, time permits and uh, I just wanted to go ahead and shoot this video and uh, share with everyone uh, what I've been able to uh, get a hold of uh, at retail uh, in the last uh, I would say month or so uh, since I did my my last Goody Haul report and uh, just to get started uh, so I can uh, share with everyone uh, what I was able to find uh, we have some uh, stuff here and uh, we have here uh, I purchased a uh, fourth season of Fringe on DVD at a Target I believe and uh, this uh, is a series that I quite enjoyed uh, but uh, fallen uh, behind on watching and uh, I saw this uh, come out uh, was it the middle of September or maybe it was uh, toward the second week of September when this came out and I uh, picked this up and uh, uh, Fringe is uh, going to be back on the air actually this coming Friday uh, with the fifth season and the final season and unfortunately I'm gonna have to DVR that because I like I said I haven't f I've fallen behind uh, by several seasons actually and I uh, want to uh, watch uh, Fringe on DVD before I watch the fifth season so I'm gonna have to DVR the fifth season since it's coming out pretty soon but uh, I was able to pick up this at Target uh, for I think it was like 30 something dollars it was on sale when it first came out so but uh, happy to get uh, the fourth season here you know, some other uh, DVDs I was able to get as the Walking Dead uh, second season and uh, the new seasons coming out uh, in a couple weeks it looks like and uh, I've seen all of these uh, I'm caught up on Walking Dead so uh, I'll be uh, watching this uh, prior to the third season of Walking Dead but uh, I'm glad to pick that up uh, this one I picked up at a uh, where is it? Uh, Fry's Electronics. Uh, I saw it on sale for about $25. So I got that there. And also at Fry's Electronics, I picked up this here. Now this here is the uh, Guild Wars 2 Strategy Guide, the Hardbound Edition. Now this game came out, uh, I think it was the end of August or beginning of September. I can't remember. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have a PC currently that's capable of playing the game. I've had some computer problems lately. and uh, But I decided to get this because I, I'm really a fan of strategy guides uh, for games. Even though I don't have the game yet, I haven't purchased it. Uh, like I said, I don't have a PC capable of playing it. But uh, I decided to pick up the book because I know this is a hardbound edition and... Uh, this being uh, a bit harder to find, so I picked it up uh, before even picking up the game. But uh, I, I'm probably going to wait uh, till I pick up the game until it goes on sale. Uh, by that time, I may have a PC capable of playing it. So, but uh, decided to pick this uh, book up. And uh, this uh, particular book has a bonus little, uh, looks like a spiral uh, bound uh, little note, uh, probably a map. Uh, of uh is it Tyria? Um uh, not yeah it is Tyria. Uh I, I guess uh this is set uh some uh, years after the first uh Guild Wars. And I'm a big fan of the Guild Wars uh franchise. I really like that game. It was a lot of fun. And hopefully uh whenever I get around to playing the uh or getting the uh Guild Wars two I'll probably have fun with that too. But uh got this uh strategy guide for thirty six ninety nine. And uh, taking a look at some other goodies I was able to find. 
I was at a Toys R Us uh, several weeks back and surprised to see uh, some of the uh, newer waves of Marvel Universe, uh, which is uh, pretty cool. And they were selling them for $10 each. And I have here a uh, She-Hulk. I'm not sure what series this is from, but uh, uh, the series uh, prior to this one never showed up at retail anywhere in my area. Either that or it was really scooped up real fast. Uh, so that's why I was surprised to see this particular series uh, come out. And it uh, looks like a, the little thing here is kind of sh off-shifted there. But uh, no stand uh, on this particular figure, a uh, series. And it looks like a Modoc is uh, going to be on the back of the card. Series 4, here we go. And this is figure number 12. So, uh, like I said, surprised to see this at a Toys R Us uh, a couple weeks back. I haven't seen it anywhere since then, so I'm glad I picked this up uh, here. I got the, I got a She-Hulk. I got the Scarlet Witch as well. Pretty cool. And uh, the Future Foundation uh, Spider-Man. I'm really uh, glad I got this one because I have the Future Foundation Fantastic Four. And I uh, was waiting for this particular uh, figure to come out. Uh, so pretty neat uh, some other stuff I was able to get oh at a target I saw this <laughs> pretty interesting uh, this is uh, from connects uh, looks like uh, they're getting into the uh, minifigure or licensed minifigures uh, this one is of, of the band kiss and I saw that on there and decided to pick it up because um, not often that you actually see a uh, Kiss uh, minifigure and uh, even comes with uh, all of the instruments here. Uh, I think that's actually pretty cool and uh, I think it's uh, really really neat. And this was $10 at Target. They also had uh, the Beatles uh, in their uh, form from the uh, Yellow Submarine and uh, excuse me uh, while my phone is ringing here. All right, we're back, and uh, just wanted to uh, mention that uh, they also had uh, uh, the Beatles in the Yellow Submarine format uh, at Target as well, and uh, that was uh, ten dollars uh, in price. And uh, I think this is a really just a neat set and uh, uh, pretty cool to have on there. And uh, also at Target, it uh, looks like they started to finally sell the. Uh, Halo 4 single packs and I decided to pick up the uh, Elite Zealot of course uh, being a fan of Elites and uh, very interesting design uh, with these uh, new uh, versions of the Elites uh, uh, especially the feet uh, you can see down here looks uh, to be much more stable than the uh, Elites from the Halo Reach line and uh, this uh, was on sale at uh, Target for $12. Uh, or actually, it's the standard price, not on sale. But I uh, picked one up at, at Target and uh, thought that was pretty cool. And it comes with the uh, energy uh, sword there and a helmet. And a uh, change in the uh, head design, too. You can see the head's a little bit different there. Pretty neat. I got uh, not just one, uh, but I did get a second one here as well. And uh, also got uh, a uh, Grunt Storm. Uh, this is uh, your, uh, I guess your basic level Grunt. Uh, and they decided to call him Storm in Halo 4. And uh, this is a really... Uh, much more uh, revamped uh, grunt uh, compared to the elites. Uh, you can really see uh, the changes, especially in the equipment and the head uh, design, even uh, portions of the uh, uh, legs there and arms. Uh, uh, very, uh, very different uh, compared to the previous grunts uh, from the Halo Reach line. And uh, you can see also the other figures uh, from Series One. There's only four figures, it seems. Series 1, uh, of course you got the Master Chief and the Spartan Warrior. 
And uh, looks like uh, also coming soon is Cortana, the another Spartan soldier, a crawler here, and a watcher. So that's uh, kind of cool. And a secret enemy figure coming out in holiday 2012, probably to coincide with the release of the game. So, but uh, this was uh, $12 as well. Pretty cool. And uh, let's see here. Oh, I found this at Target on clearance. Uh, pretty neat. Uh, Super uh, Street Fighter 4. I had the uh, Street Fighter 4 game on uh, Xbox 360, uh, but never got around to getting Super Street Fighter 4 uh, with newer characters. Uh, but I uh, finally did here. Uh, got it for only uh, $5.06. And uh, it says as is, but it's uh, pretty much sealed. So, even got the... Uh, label here with the barcode uh, sticker there so pretty much uh, intact uh, I'm not sure why it says as is unless uh, somebody ran this over with a forklift or something I don't know uh, but it looks uh, in good condition and then for five dollars uh, not too bad and uh, see here at Toys R Us I was able to pick up a few uh, items I picked up uh, this here. This is the Lego Star Wars, really the mini scale uh, figures uh, with uh, a container of uh, this one here of the Death Star. Uh, it looks like uh, this particular series uh, uses these containers uh, to represent planets, moons, and of course uh, the Death Star. And this one is the TIE Interceptor with Death Star. And I was also able to pick up. Uh, this one here, the X-Wing uh, X -wing Starfighter with uh, Yavin 4 on there. So I thought that was uh, kind of neat. I really picked it up really for this Death Star, to have a Death Star on there. I think that's uh, kind of cool on there. And uh, I don't mind the uh, minifigures uh, on here that come included and the mini scale uh, space uh, craft there. It's pretty cool. And... Uh, I got this at Toys R Us. They had them on sale at the time. I think it was like on sale for nine dollars on there, which is about the regular price at other retailers. So, and uh, I thought it was kind of neat. It looks like you can hang it off of the ceiling on there. And uh, this one is from Series One, and uh, you get uh, several different planets. I think it's Tatooine and Naboo in Series One. And I'm not sure uh, what's in Series 2 other than Yavin 4. I don't know the other planets there. Uh, but uh, pretty neat on there. And um, over at a uh, comic shop, I was able to find uh, this here. A Mini Mate. So you really can't uh, do a Goody Hall report without a Mini Mate purchase. <laughs> And uh, this one is pretty cool. Uh, I got this one at A1 Comics, and uh, this is of uh, Cloak and Dagger. And I remember when this uh, mini series came out uh, in the 80s. And I'm uh, glad to have found uh, at least uh, their versions of the characters uh, from the 80s. I don't know if they've changed. I haven't followed uh, them lately, if they've been updated or not. But uh, nice to have. Uh, the at least classic uh, versions of these characters so pretty neat uh, I'm not sure what wave of the mini mates this is from but uh, really happy to get a cloak and dagger uh, it's a book I haven't read in a long time you know I'm not sure if they're even still around but I got that for eight dollars and uh, speaking of comics uh, I got a whole bunch of books uh, over the past weeks and uh, let me just go ahead and pull these out from different comic stores there you go and oh I did uh, pick up some Magic the Gathering cards that were on sale basically four or five rares for 50 cents it says a dollar here but it was for 50 cents so I got two of these packs let's just go over them real quick see what cards I was able to get uh, let's see. You got an Argent Sphinx there. A Metodic uh, Manipulation card here. And uh, a lot of these I'm not even familiar with. Uh, the 
blocks that they come from because I haven't followed magic in a long time. Uh, I do recognize this one. This one's a Kamigawa block. A Yukora the Prisoner. And a doubling chant in this pack. These are not like in uh, pristine condition. These are basically played condition cards. But uh, I thought that was kind of neat for 50 cents for four rares. Uh, it's pretty nice. In this pack I got uh, Heretic's uh, Punishment. And Phyrexian uh, Vat Mother. Pretty cool. Glistening Oil. And I don't even recognize any of the sets these are from. And uh, Dream Lash. So, pretty cool cards. Uh, eight rares basically for a dollar. That's not too bad. Uh, now for the books I was able to pick up over the last uh, three or four weeks. I uh, got here the Winter Soldier uh, number nine. Pretty cool. Justice League Dark number 8, and this is to fill in the hole of uh, Justice League Dark uh, that I was able to receive from Gerhawk uh, recently. And loose there, and thank you. And uh, he didn't have uh, issue 8 to give, so I went ahead and purchased uh, issue 8 to uh, fill in that hole. I was able to pick up uh, Invincible Iron Man number 523. <coughs> Excuse me. Justice League uh, number 12. Oh, and I also did pick up uh, Earth 2 and uh, decided to give that a try. I got Earth 2 number 1. Number 2. Number 3. And uh, number 4. And also decided to give uh, a couple of the Before Watchmen titles uh, a try. This one of uh, Rorschach, uh, number one. And uh, Dr. Manhattan, uh, number one. And it uh, looks like uh, there's going to be a uh, SatCon uh, next week, actually, this coming Sunday. Uh, it's September 30th. It's pretty cool. And. Uh, also picked up uh, some of the number zero issues uh, from uh, DC Comics uh, for the month of September. I got uh, Suicide Squad number zero, and Invincible Iron Man number 524, Justice League uh, number zero, Earth uh, 2 number zero, and uh, Continuing uh, with the He-Man and Masters of the Universe number two, and picked up a uh, Nightwing uh, number zero, uh, Phantom Stranger number zero, and uh, finally here uh, Winter Soldier uh, number ten. So uh, quite a few books in the last uh, few weeks there. And, uh, oh, I forgot here. Uh, I purchased uh, these from Walmart. Uh, pretty cool. Finally showed up in my area the uh, Amazing Spider-Man 6-inch series of figures. And uh, this one here of Miles Morales as the ultimate uh, Spider-Man, uh, the comic version there. Pretty cool. And uh, these were $15, $16 uh, each. I was able to find uh, this uh, Spider-Man, the movie uh, Lizard, and also the <coughs> excuse me, movie uh, Spider-Man. So I don't know. I think that's the three in this line. I I don't know if there are others or not. Uh, but those are the ones I, I was able to find, and I uh, thought that was uh, kind of cool on there. And um, over at Toys R Us, I was able to find a few things. Uh, more Mini Mates. This one has the uh, movie Spider-Man and Peter Parker. This one's been out for a while. But uh, decided to pick it up on there and uh, thought it was uh, kind of neat. And also for Mini Mates, uh, I think this one's newer. This one's uh, the Street Fighter uh, versus. Tekken 
And of course, uh, I had to pick up uh, this one because of Sagat. Uh, he's my favorite uh, Street Fighter. And uh, this one is Sagat versus King from Tekken. And uh, pretty cool. Uh, this is, of course, the Toys R Us uh, version. I don't know if there's a comic uh, version of additional characters or not. Uh, I'm pretty sure there are. That's the way uh, Minimates uh, usually works. Uh, they have that. Uh, Toys R Us specific characters and uh, comic or uh, dis uh, what do you call it the specialty uh, distribution uh, figures and uh, pretty uh, interesting uh, list of characters there but I had to pick up uh, Sagat uh, to at least start off and uh, it's my favorite uh, Street Fighter so at Toys R Us I was able to find uh, this here uh, finally got another uh, mask Dokken and uh, this was 20 bucks at uh, Toys R Us but uh, couldn't find it anywhere else uh, decided to pick it up pretty neat uh, interesting I was able to find this here and this is a uh, space ghost uh, with blip on there and uh, this uh, one uh, was a bit harder to find uh, going to uh, different uh, Toys R Us's just to find the Space Ghost. They have a whole bunch of the other uh, Hanna-Barbera uh, characters. Um, but I had to uh, search a while to finally find a Space Ghost figure. And this was $10 and they've uh, the Hanna-Barbera figures uh, have gone on sale uh, since then. And uh, where you buy one, get one 50% off, I believe. But uh, at the time I purchased this, this was uh, $10.99. Right there. Finally, at uh, Toys R Us, uh, been waiting for this uh, to show up, and they finally did. Uh, I think it was just a week ago. And uh, finally got a hold of the uh, second uh, series of Rocky figures. And. Uh, Pretty interesting uh, figures. Uh, this one here is, uh, of course, uh, Rocky Balboa from Rocky IV. And uh, Series 2 focuses on uh, uh, Rocky IV. And we have here a nice clean uh, version of uh, Rocky Balboa. And uh, this is $15 at Toys R Us. And they also had a, I guess, battle damaged version of Rocky Balboa with him uh, spitting out some blood uh, be after being hit uh, which is very interesting and also if you look at it uh, his eyes are a bit uh, closed on there uh, kind of interesting there uh, but uh, those are kind of neat but I was really looking forward to uh, the Ivan Dragos and of course uh, they had them as well I was able to pick up uh, Ivan Drago here in the yellow trunks uh, where he beats uh, Apollo Creed into a t twitching uh, uh, pulp <laughs> and also uh, Ivan Drago in the red trunks uh, when he fights uh, Rocky Balboa uh, kinda interesting I don't know if they have uh, different versions of the heads of these figures uh, these are uh, two different colored trunks uh, but uh, from two different fights so I'm not sure if they have uh, switched heads uh, for alternate versions or not uh, it would have been nice if they did uh, but uh, still pretty cool nonetheless to have uh, Ivan Drago there finally uh, and uh, the next series has Clubber Lang and I'm looking forward to that when that comes out but uh, pretty neat uh, set of uh, Rocky figures I'm a big fan of uh, Rocky uh, a guilty pleasure and uh, I'm happy to have uh, these figures but uh, this is my casual peek into my um, goody haul report for the last week of September hopefully it won't be too long before my next report uh, as I uh, slowly settle in uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time